Now, if you post it on the time, 2.15. Georgetown can get themselves a little tired right here because they're doing all the work right now. Doherty, both teams in the bonus. Oh, the fouls would send them to the line. The hell ball would go to Georgetown. Less than two minutes to go. 156. That's a dangerous pass, that lazy pass going cross court. Here's Ewing, he can't afford to reach. You saw Gene Smith try to sneak in from behind. 1 minute 40, now it's on your screen. Now North Carolina wanting to change their offense. Here's Jordan who made that remarkable drive a while ago. He has nine rebounds to go with his 14 points tonight. Eric Smith hurt his leg on that play. He's really limping. He's giving chase to 40, and he almost pulled it off. He commits the foul. You can see he is limping. That's four on Eric Smith. Some reach. He's quite an athlete. Start talking about basketball players that would have some potential in the defensive backfield in football. He's one of them. He's shaking it off. John Thompson looked him over to see if he wanted to stay in the ball game, and he seems to be all right. See, John Thompson talking to his club now. He does not want to use that timeout. Dean Smith has quite a few left. Now, in this ball game, Doherty has hit two of two from the line with four points. The only guy that hasn't shot perfectly from the line in the starting five is Worthy. He's two of five. This is in the second half I'm talking about. And at the line, Matt Doherty. He hit some big free throws you might remember in tournament play in the East region. Now with a big one and one. Long. Wow, that wasn't even close. And now Georgetown can take the lead. 1-16 left. That's 10 rebounds for Pat Ewing. Eric Smith off to Pat Ewing. Hancock was wide open under the basket. Nobody saw him. I think a sleepy boy is going to go for the jumper. Is he ever? Fake beautifully once, twice, gets a roll, and the Hoyas lead by one. What a play by Sleepy Floyd. 52 seconds. 18 points in the game for the All-American. And as we suspected, it's going right down to the line. And Georgetown's going to go into the zone. They are not going to come out and chase. And North Carolina now cannot go to the four corners. With that odd point, we're going for a game-winning or a losing shot. And Dean Smith asks and gets timeout. That was the 15th lead change we've had in this ball game on that remarkable suspension in midair by Sleepy Floyd. We'll be back. You see the time remaining. 32 seconds to win the championship. Bavaria, where the Volkswagen Jetta really knows its way. What's a Mazda GLC sedan doing here? Making a point about outstanding value. Because while the GLC offers the performance, versatility, and economy you expect in a refined front-wheel drive economy sedan, it offers it at a price you don't expect. The more you look at some of the finest economy sedans in the world, the more you like the 1982 Mazda GLC sedan. Gross weight at liftoff, 4.5 million pounds. Twin rocket boosters, 150 feet long. Fuel capacity, 1.5 million pounds. And helping support the launch of this behemoth, four Honeywell computers. Honeywell computers working together in a giant network are helping the space shuttle Columbia reach for the future. Honeywell, you should see what we do with computers. Georgetown adds the lead, and I just cannot believe this play that Sleepy Floyd made. Well, you knew he was going to take it. He's a money player, a double fake. Had a guy in front, a guy behind, and Georgetown getting some nice bounces now. Ewing's did the same thing right before that. What it does, Gary, it changes the offensive philosophy completely for North Carolina. They, with the lead, could force Georgetown to be man-to-man. -man. Now Georgetown back in the zone. Most coaches, though, with a timeout, go ahead and change their defense just to throw the other team off stride. Let's see if Georgetown now comes out man to man. Georgetown still has one timeout left. North Carolina has four, 32 seconds to go. A one point lead for Georgetown. No, they stay in the 1-3-1 with Ewing in the middle. They've got to look to get it in there. You can't with a shot blocker like Ewing take so much time. Gordy to Black. The time, 18. Michael Jordan, 14 
seconds. Brown. Look for look for Sleepy Floyd. Look. Oh, he threw it to the wrong man. He threw it to Worthy. It's over. It's over. He's fouled by Eric Smith. Fred Brown somehow or another threw the ball into the hands of James Worthy. Look at Dean Smith. Totally in control. Everybody going crazy. See if he doesn't call a timeout to settle things down. The emotion. Jordan is down. He is down and now getting up. There's Black. Black. That's Black. He can't believe it. He's been on three straight ACC championship teams, but never won at all. But I tell you, the guy you got to feel bad for is Fred Brown. It's like he looked back. I don't know why or what happened. Let's look at it. Here it is right here. He, you know what might have flashed in front of him right there? He saw the blue and the white go by and just lost concentration. That was a smart foul right there. We've got two seconds to go. Look at this. The emotion of NCAA basketball. Now, Worthy just has to get that ball up there. If he hits the rim, he's in good shape, even if he misses the shot, because Georgetown in bad shape foul-wise. Hey, Eric, Eric Smith has fouled out of the ball game. And after all of that, he did, as he tried to come back and double up and come up with the ball. Dean Smith looked at James Worthy and said, make these. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Smith leaves a game of 14 points, three rebounds. Now, Worthy is the man that I guess should be resting on his shoulders. He's had eight, 28 points tonight, but he's hit only two of five from the free throw line. It's a very, very big shot. Now they're going to call timeout. Is Georgetown calling that? No, I can't believe John Thompson would have called that. I believe Dean Smith did, just to reorganize the whole situation. He called his fifth. Very surprising, unless John wants to just give him a talk to him about the future. Because now he can't do anything other than throw the long pass if the shot is missed. Well, he's run out of timeout. That's right, that's his fifth. And so even if they get the rebound on this, two seconds, there's nothing left you can do. That's right. Very interestingly, in the rule changes in basketball, and thinking ahead into next year, although this game certainly is not over, one change we're going to see, the jump ball situation. If the defense creates the jump ball, the ball will turn over to the defense and disregard the pointing of the arrow, which I think most coaches have asked for. The clock, we won't see that at all. And what we may also see, there's been some talk, if a game goes into overtime and a player is fouled out, he gets an opportunity to come back with one more foul. Well, for so many years, they said about Dean Smith, he couldn't win the big one. He's two seconds away from winning the big one now. The seventh time he's been to the Final Four, the fourth time in the championship game. And let's watch. We'll just watch and see what develops. A two-shot intentional, evidently. No one moved anyway. Hey, That's what it they was. Called it a two-shot intentional. We never did get that signal. Now there's where they could have used the timeout. And Georgetown loses it. North Carolina has won the 1982 NCAA championship.
really does say it all. Georgetown having their 10-game winning streak snapped. They will finish 30 and 7. James Worthy, when they cut the nets down in Raleigh in the East Region, gave the net away. He said, I wanted the net at the final four. Well, they're going to have the net here at the final four of the championship game. And so that long dry spell for Dean Smith has come to a close. And we can't say enough for this gentleman. What an outstanding human being he is. John Thompson, and there's Worthy, the guy who wanted the net. Well, he had to wait an extra week for it, but he got it. And doing three more outstanding years remaining at Georgetown. We want to thank the people who worked with us all year long. Our executive producer is Kevin O'Malley. Rick Sharp, our producer. Bob Fishman, our director. Anchor producer, Ted Shaker. Duke Strutt, directing Brett Musburger. The director of administration, along with Patty Toot. Outstanding people. People who we have just had a joy to work with throughout this 1981-82 NCAA season. Thank you, people, for your support. It's been a joy for us. And so the NCAA champions, the Tar Heels of North Carolina, as the net being taken down, each one of the players getting a chance to take a snip of it. This crowd in the Superdome was really treated to an outstanding championship game. We're going to have interviews. We'll be talking to Dean Smith, to the North Carolina team, the entire team. We'll be back to we'll set that up for you. Don't go away as we recapture some of the emotion with this championship game. We'll open your eyes. With this Color Track 2000, we can get every single cable channel available. Ooh, basketball. And we can tune them in with remote control. Ah, boxing. Only RCA made sets give you 127 channel tuning, the most you can get. Ooh. Ooh. So when new cable choices come along, you're ready for them. A new channel. It's pasta on parade. Ooh. We'll open your eyes, open your eyes, RCA. I'd like to keep that great GM feeling, Mr. Goodwrench, but how am I supposed to know when to do what? Just watch your 75s. 75s? Here, to help you keep that great GM feeling, your GM maintenance schedule calls for a checkup every 7,500 miles. It looks complicated, Mr. Goodwrench. It isn't. All you have to do is watch the top of the charts and your odometer. We take care of the rest. Keep that great GM feeling. And Mr. Goodwrench makes it easy. With genuine GM parts. At Xerox, we make copiers that do things no other copiers can do. There's one that automatically copies two-sided originals. Another one makes the finest quality copies. And another one does more jobs faster than any machine available. What has all this gotten us? Yes. I'm 